And it will be Tessa Linke to start this first half. And we are underway over the halfway line. Yakulis coming forward over on that far side. Yambango trying to get his first touch of the second day. Ball rolls it over the halfway line. Looking to try and find Jan Rezic. Jan Rezic tries to come forward, but Gakoulis is there to intercept. Over on that far side, a good battle going on between Rezic and Gankoulis in the Tessalinki half. Now on the halfway line for Voiberno. And Gakoulis tries to come forward, although the physical presence of Jan Bango just shrugs him off in the Voiberno half. Ball runs aimlessly. And now Femuglu tries to come forward, shoots, and it's blocked. And Femuglu's right shoe has just come off. And it will be a corner on this near side for Tessa Linke. So a corner on this near side then. Fimoglu and Grakoulis on this near side. The first corner of the game. So a two-man wall just trying to protect that front post. Although there is a gap between that wall. And the corner is taken from Moglu, back to goal, heading towards the broken line, holding on to this near side kick. Ball turns really well, face skull and shoots, and it's blocked once again by Jan Bango. Ball still in play. Moglu picks it up. Can he keep it in play under pressure from Bango? On this near side, a bit of a battle going on. Both players holding on to this near side kickboard, and the ball rolls down the near side touchline, all the way into the Tessa Ninki half, over the broken line. Stratos trying to come forward with it over the halfway. Mrezic trying to put him under pressure. And it will be with the goalkeeper for Avoy Bono. Thomas Burkowski made some fantastic saves in the opening day. Now on this near side, a couple of ball rolls over the broken line. Ball played forward and um, goes through the legs of Gukulis over to that far side and reaches Jan Mrezic. Still on that far side, deep into the Tessalinki half. Just about kept on. And it goes over the goal line. And it will be with the goalkeeper for Tessalinki. So we remain goalless in the opening two minutes. Femoglu turns inside. Ball overhead, height pass over to that far side. Hits the kickboard and rolls over the goal line. And will be with the Avoy Berno keeper, Thomas Burkowski. Burkowski trying to organise his defence and then throwing it long over to try and find Jan Rezic who gets a slight touch on it and rolls over the goal line and now with the opposition goalkeeper for Cesar Linke. Now over to that far side on the halfway line. Gokoulis tries to switch the ball, tries to find Fimoglu. Ball rolls over onto this near side touch line and it's cleared forward over the halfway line. A long ball and it rolls all the way to the goal area for Tessa Linke. Throwed over arm by the goalkeeper over the halfway line, over on that far side. Tries to turn away Gakoulis under pressure from Bango over the broken line in the Avoy Bono half. And just leaves the ball. Petras just doing a few dummies and over the ball. And it will be with the goalkeeper and it's thrown short. Ball brought forward over the broken line. Couple of touches of the right and left foot. Into some more central position. Still in their own half. Avoid Berno on the broken line. Ball cleared forward to the inside of his left foot. Into the Tessalinki half. Now on the far side of Zakharos, who's playing in a more deeper position today. Ball cleared forward over the halfway line. Ball rolls slowly. Edge of the penalty area. Petras just has to slightly touch it. And the ball still not in the goal zone. Bit of a mix-up going on here. Ball still not being touched, and the ball is cleared away. And it will be with the goalkeeper for Avoy Berno. Petros just got in there. The ball was just agonising on the edge of the goal zone, and Petros tried to get in there and cleared it away. Ball back into the Avoy Berno half. Rolling once again, and this time does reach the goal zone. And now... Rolled over to this near side on the broken line in the avoid burner half. Cleared up field, the left foot and hit all the way over the goal zone. And will be with the goalkeeper, Tessa Linke. No clear cut chances so far in the opening four minutes. Looking to try and get maybe potentially the opening goal of this game. Let's have no nil nils today. Let's have plenty of goals as the ball crosses over the halfway. Nice turn inside. Shoelaces undone, it looks like. And the ball hits the inside of the post. 
on the right post of the Avoid Berno half. It was a good run by Famoglu, who ran. And now over into the Tessalinki half. Now they go. Avoid Berno into more central position. Into the left hand side of the penalty area. And is tripped over by Zakaros. And it will be a free kick. And just on the left of centre, on the edge of the penalty area. And a good chance now for Avoid Berno. Absolutely interesting situation on the other side of the runner from Famoglu and the left footed shot. Um, on the short post, there was Bukowski, and he stepped away because he saw it goes wide, but and then he sees, sees it in your, his eyes that he was surprised that it hit the post, but not goes in on the other side. Nice run by Seal, only stopped by a foul of the left wing. Eight meters distance from the goal, like three and a half meters left from the eight meter spot. The Greeks will build up a big four-man wall, and Patsis is the same opinion as me. The wall is too, way too far away. Now he reclaimed it, Christian Jung nodded his head, and Ampatz is going out of his goal and placed the wall like one meter more forward. They are standing three meters, three and a half meters in front of the goal. Four men in the wall, Ampatz is in the other corner of the goal in the far post. Gita Khachlikova is hitting to the post, marking first the right from then the left. From the shooting position is Karen Seal ready to be tipped off by Mrazek. Seal turns around, right shoot, but wide the right post. Four meters, but anyway, Ampatsis goes down. He would be there if the shot is on target. No danger. Six minute plays, goalless. Good opportunity on both sides with one shot. Ampatsis with the clearance, lifted high up. It bounces, but early before the uh, midline on, and so it's go on. It's Walukis, Esiota, sorry, over the left wing, already in attack. He's third, persecuted by Karen Seal. He's alone against three. He does it very well over the left wing. Try a hidden shot. Bukowski need to dive down and he saved it. It was missing of power. Nice place the shot was left foot, but no power behind the shot of Siotas. On the other side, long throw in uh, in direction of Mrazek. Mrazek then in fight. Far corner, close to the corner is uh, Dimos Zacharos, who surprisingly played def defense there. And Siotas, they changed the position. And Faimoglu going forward, but nice intercepted by Karen Seal. He's over the broken line, right wing, close to the near kick put, stepped on the ball, tried to cut in, but stopped for the first touch by Siotas. Confusion for the ball, nice done by Siotas, who kicked the ball forward and then uh, falling down, but he's on his feet again. Bango and um, Karen Seal in a small infight between their teammates. Bango wins it and goes through the center. He goes through the broken line, center position on Dimos Zacharos, but he stands there like a rock. Bango falls down. Zacharos conquers the ball. Seven and a half minutes played. Zacharos on the right kick for tried to clear the ball. Mrazek came into the pass, hits it with the right knee. The ball goes wide. Goal clearance for Rodios Ampatsis in the goal with his orange lighted gloves, looking for his teammates and decided for a small and short throw in. Roll in on the left wing to Faimoglu. Faimoglu with a nice, decent switch to his uh, player Gualukis. Gualukis over from right to left. Passes over against to Faimoglu. Faimoglu against looking for Gakulis, but he didn't find a nice intercepted by Seal. Seal stepped over the ball. He need to come back, go into his own broken line, asking for Mrazek for a switch, but the switch came, but way too deep, way too strong. Um, Mrazek has to be Speedy Gonzalez to reach. There's no <laughs> chance. The ball goes wide. It's again clearance for Ampatsis looking for Siotas. Nice control in the center circle. Um, Siotas against Bango. Siotas against um, Petras. Close to the D. Petras wins his infight. Clears the way with the left foot. Faimoglu runs, runs behind the ball on the halfway line. Close to, uh, near to the uh, near kickboard. He fall down. Reclaimed the foul, but Intercepted by Karen C was fair. Game goes on. Seal stepped on the ball unluckily, missed at the speed of his solo. He need to turn around on the center circle. Now the switch is better in direction of Mrazek. More decent. Intercepted by Guakulis, who stepped in in the pass with the right foot. It's a corner from the left wing. Nine minutes played, still goalless, waiting for the first goal of match two. Corner over on that far side then for Avoy Berno. And it will be Jan Mrazek to take. Just tapping on the ball, the sole of his foot. Yambango coming to meet it. Two Sesaniki players in the penalty D. Now the third one joins Stratos, and now underway. Jan Rezic tries to come away with the ball, but a big challenge by Stratos over the broken line, still in the Tessalinki half. Vimoglu picks it up, comes into a more central position, and now he's one on two. Tessalinki, with his green boots on, comes to the left-hand side of the centre, tries to get into the penalty area. Ball runs loose. 
And it will be a corner for Thessaloniki. And it was an important clearance from Karen Seal. And so a corner on this near side. Fimoglu and Stratos coming to take it on this near side. So corner on this side. Three avoid burner players in the penalty area. Gagoulis coming away with it towards the broken line. Coming to arc his run and falls to the floor. A bit of a battle and Karen Seal now comes away with it. Over the halfway, right centre on this near side touchline. Looks to come inside and switches the play over to the far side. Tries to find Jan Rezik and lets the ball run through him and over to that far side, hits the kickboard. Only a couple of metres away from that goal line and it runs all the way over the goal line and will be with a goal clearance for Tessa Linke. Tessa Linke with the clearance over the halfway into the avoid Bono half. Gakoulis plays the ball forward with his left foot and an important clearance away by Kerin Seal. It will be another corner for Tessa Linke on this near side. Kerin Seal just got his right foot forward and cleared it away and it hit the kit board and went out for a, a corner on this near side. So a two-man wall protecting that near post. Corner on his near side. Fimoglu picks it up. Looks to try and arc his run once again. Side on. Right to centre now. Cuts back inside. Looks towards the left of centre. Into a more central position now. With his right foot. Trying to beat two men. Shoots with his right foot. And just goes past the left-hand post. It worked well. He arced his run from this near side. Over to the right of centre. And he had a shot from distance with his right foot. That just went past. And not troubling the goalkeeper on this occasion. Jan Rezik down that far side. Four. Or three Tessaloniki players to beat, and it will be a corner, is it? Ricochets off a Tessaloniki player over on that far side. 11 minutes and 30 seconds gone. And there will be a corner over on that far side. Jan Brezik and Jan Bango over the corner. Two Tessaloniki players in a line trying to protect that near post. Jan Brezik takes the corner and a big challenge in from Gukulis. Gukulis tries to run forward and now he's potentially got a chance although just loses control of the ball and Jan Bango and Kellen Seal back in position now and the ball runs loose. Who can pick it up for Muglu? Tries to beat Kellen Seal but he intercepts it Kellen Seal and brings over the broken line. Now over the halfway central position tries to get over the broken line right of centre tries to get into the penalty it has a shot but he misses the ball and the referee the referee just having a word with Kellen Seal, who just argues with the referee. Just totally the right decision because Kellen Seal, just in case, maybe the ball is there, but it was in an altitude of 15, 20 centimeters, so the ball needs to be bounced, and he, his pass going to be um, crossed by Siotas, and Siotas going to be hit uh, just over the ankle, so very dangerous action there from Seal, who is still not happy and agreed, not agreeing with this uh, decision of the refs and starting to discussing and Stuart Winton absolutely no agree and not let this discussion go and say no listen guy listen <laughs> and was done but he's still discussing here close to the bench a uh, free kick taken I'm with the refs it was the right decision there too much risk too much danger um, confusion there about the ball position after this free kick because Mrazek is nice working and pay, taking the pressure high but in the end Feimoglu wins the in fight comes over the broken line center position attacked by Bango in a sandwich and Seal in the end Bango wins this in fight but stepped over the ball so it goes back in his own half in his own third defense third where Karen Seal picks the ball up try to find with a halfway switch um, to Mrazek Mrazek on the left kickboard altitude of the broken line persecuted by Guakulis Guakulis started very well with the right foot jumping inside there and um, stopped for the first attempt Mrazek Mrazek opportunity to passing back to Bango but he tried to switch no much power not enough power in this pass easy easy stop for uh, Guakulis Guakulis kicked it away in the D where Petras oh, 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 oh. stepped away like Bambi to let the ball passing in the out there is a uh, goal clearance by Bukowski but already intercepted it didn't reach Bango where should he, the ball should go but Guakulis stepped between Guakulis nice second interception again try to pass in direction of Feimoglu. Feimoglu in the infight here, near kickboard with Seal. Seal wins it, and this time was a nice switch. If Mrazek on the other side of the kickboard could control it, but it passes through in the basket, going through his legs, and danger is gone. Dimos Zaharos picks it up and clears it diagonally here in direction of our kickboard, just in front of our desk. Oh, Feimoglu against Seal. Big kick by 
seal again, kicking. You hear the sound of shoes hitting each other, but game goes on. Feimogel reclaimed the kickoff. Uh, every kick. Game goes on on the other side, demon side. Far kick for Mrazek. Lose the in fight against Siotas. Siotas clears it out. Boy is right in direction of Bango, close to the corner. Left corner, far kick for Picking up the ball, 14 and a half minutes play. Opportunity to control the game for Bango. Bango with a nice solo from left to right. Persecuted by Faimoglu and Faimoglu wins the in fight. Faimoglu himself goes over the left wing against Seal. Seal wins the battle and comes over the right side. It's a two against two situation. Mrazek on the left side. Seal with the ball over the right side. First it's Siotas who attacks him. Now two against three. Still Seal trying to find his pass through the center. Just pushing Dimos Sakharos away. But he wins this. The ex favorite Greek with a number 10 with a long right foot. He kicks it away over the left. Kickboard. It's the corner. 15 minutes played, no, no, corner for Avoy Berno, left corner, Mrazek is waiting, Young Bango to came too. So yes, corner again for Avoy Berno, over on that far side, Jan Mrazek and Jan Bango standing over it once again. Three Tessalinki players in the penalty area. Jan Mrazek comes away with it, he tries to get into the left-hand side of the penalty area, he tries to force his way through, can he get a shot away? And it's half cleared on the right-hand side of the penalty area, the edge of the penalty area. Jan Mrazek still has it, two players to beat. Jan Rejic trying to come forward into a central position, tries to shoot with his left foot, misses the ball, left and centre, still in the Tessalinki half, but Gakoulis does really well to intercept and runs down that far side touchline, tries to come into a more central position, but meets the brick wall of Jan Bango. Uh, Mango now back to goal. Tries to turn his man, uses his body, left goes through into a more central position, tries to work his way through into the penalty area. Zakharos just jets the foot onto it, tries to kick the ball away, but misses. And now for Moglu, Jan Bango, chasing the ball and he's working really hard in the middle but halfway between the broken line and the halfway he falls to the ground and Famoglu tries to dispossess it but Yang Bango just uses his strength to shrug him off on this near side touch line holding on to the kickboard Famoglu battling away with Yang Bango and Yang Bango kicks it away over to that far side into the Avoy Berno half Yang Rejic comes from deep to pick it up crosses the halfway line still on that far side he comes inside, Jan Rejic using his right and left foot to go through the centre of the field. And picked up again by Fomoglu, but Jan Rejic picks it up right of centre into the final third of the Tessalinki half. Puts both hands on the rail and passes it down the line back towards the halfway. Kellen Seal into a more central position in the Tessalinki half. Back to goal, goes towards halfway, but arches his run, stops the ball. And goes back onto his left foot, now onto his right, right of centre. Tries to cut back in once again, but is met by Famoglu. Still in that final third of the Tessalinki half. And the ball runs in, back into the Avoy Berno half, who lets it run. And the ball rolling and rolling towards the edge of the penalty area. And it's met once again. Petras comes forward, lots of time and space as he slowly crosses the broken line and plays the ball upfield. Intercepted by Siotas. Gakoulis on that far side, tries to beat Jan Rezik and does well just to chip the ball over his right foot. And Gakoulis tries to come forward, but it runs towards this near side. And now it is with Kellen Seal, who runs towards the broken line, cuts back inside on the broken line, towards, and a shot from distance, and it's saved by Amtataz, who dives to his right-hand side, gets his body in the way. And it's a good save. And now the ball's played over to this near side, midway point of the broken line on the halfway. Now into the avoid burner half. Kellen Seal picks it up over the halfway, right of centre. Comes to the old near side. Now comes into a more central position. Runs through to Beltier and shoots. And it goes wide with the right hand post. And there will be a timeout for Tessaloniki. And with 17 minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. And it still remains goalless. Chances for both sides. Kellen Seal coming close on a couple of occasions for Avoy Berno. And not many chances of note for Bertos Tessaloniki and the Avoy Bernos just players just having a bit of a walk, some water and getting a few instructions just in front of us here in the commentary position on this near side. And at the moment, with two and a half minutes to go, it remains goalless between Avoy Berno and Bertos Tessaloniki. Absolutely, but Kevin C was close to it after the last beautiful solo. Maybe he uh, was looking for the shot a bit too early because last man he already passed it, so he even could go one or two steps more closer, having a better opportunity. Um, but his shot was good anyway. It was only missing the left post for 20, 30 centimeters, and the Avoy Berno bench here already had the screaming of the goal on their lips. But that was 
written on their goggles. It's goal fix. And the first part of this word we are missing heavily in this match. But we will see. Two and a half minutes to go with this speed dribbling of Karen Seal. They could create danger, the home team. What's not working until now is the switch situation. Finding Jan Rajek because the Greek defense does it very well. Intercepted a way of passes. So the <laughs> successful method or successful system, in my opinion, for the last time, for the last minutes, should be more going on solo and finding the conclusion by their own, by Mrazek and by Seal, um, being uh, speed up and not looking for uh, the, pass, the passes and the switches. So yes, two and a half minutes left remaining of this first half, and it remains goalless. And we'll start with the goal clearance for Persos Thessaloniki, and he will be the goalkeeper, Georgios Ampatizis who will be taking the goal clearance. Just waiting for the referees to get in position. Thomas Wilkowski just organizing his diamond defense. Polasek and Jan Mango in line with each other on the broken half, splitting in the middle with Petras in front of the D as the ball's rolled forward. And the ball rolls all the way to Petras on the edge of the penalty area left of centre and towards this near side just collides with the kickboard coming slowly over the broken line tries to switch it over to Kenny Seal a great in interception from Siotas and comes forward with it a couple of ball rolls with his right foot and now drags it back of his right foot again lovely piece of skill tries to enter the penalty area can't get a shot away as it collides with Bango and now trying to come away with it it's Petras as the ball is rolling towards Kellen Seal, Kellen Seal picks it up but just loses the control of the ball. Still with possession of Kellen Seal and a bit of turn and pace with his right foot over the broken line towards the left of centre into the penalty area. Shoots Arnie just half and it's saved by the goalkeeper for Tessa Leakey. But a really good run from Kellen Seal once again. He put the afterburners on and went like a road runner down that far side. And a free kick for Tessa Leakey. Giacolikis was, Gakulilis was just bundled over by Jan Bango, and we'll have a free kick. Midway point to the broken line and the halfway line. A minute and 10 seconds left until half time. Unlucky for Karin Seal after this run that he get not a full contact with his left foot to the ball, but just hit it a bit with the peak of the foot, and just topped it a bit, so it was no problem for Georgios Ampatis in the goal. We jump in in this free kick, last 55 seconds of the first half with Siotas. Siotas over the right wing, tried to stick in this nice switch into the D, but too deep. No chance for Feimoglu to run to the ball. Um, there was a substitution as well in Brno Polasek uh, coming onto the pitch, and he substituted Jan Rajek. So Sia going forward and Polasek picking up the position in the defense. There was a clearance by Bukowski, not reaching. Seal, he missed it only for inches. On the other side, it goes through to Ampatsis. Ampatsis trying to throw to Faimoglu. Faimoglu kicks the ball far away. Petras is waiting there in the D and cleared the situation for a corner kick. Corner from the left side here on our near side kick pop. But Thessaloniki need to hurry up. There's only 10 seconds rest on the clock and the clock is not stopped during this corner. So if they want to have a finish in this corner four seconds three seconds no impossible the corner is done lucky for avoid in this situation the time runs i saw but just in this second the clock is stopped for three seconds so they need the conclusion immediately they try with siotas to turn around and shoot but he miss hits the ball so the ball runs wide and it was the last action of this first half we are still goalless intensive game with more opportunities on side of Bruno, especially when we have the deep runs, the f speed up runs from Karen Silva at the moment without a positive benefit in the end. So goalless draw to halftime. Stay tuned for the second 20 minutes. Of our second game of the Sunday here at the Bushevitsa Blind Football Cup 2019, Avoy Berno is Bursos Thessaloniki. And we're just waiting for the Thessaloniki players to make their way onto the field. And I think they're just going to be making their way on now. Avoy Berno are ready and waiting to go. Kevin Seal and Yambango 
waiting to kick off, but at the moment they have no one to play. It's kind of a message maybe, you know, in mm. football matches when the coach, when you are back, like, remember several games where it will come back. I think Liverpool in this famous match against Milan, the coach, like, said, after four, five, six, seven minutes, go out, be there, and it uh, could be an Im impressive sign. Maybe, oh, can we see, try to shot and hit Ampatis, who's already there on the right foot. But I don't think this is a sign, it's just, uh, yeah, Pistos Thessaloniki is too late. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know if that was a sign of frustration or just wanting to get the game underway. We are still waiting for the Pistos Thessaloniki players to get underway. We have Georgios Ampatas on the field, and we have Theodoros Siotas also just making his way into their own half. Avoid Werner being ready and waiting for a minute and a half now. As the, there's a light breeze just going across the school here. Clear blue skies. It's a beautiful day here in the Czech Republic. And just waiting for the place to come on. A bit of music now just coming on in the background. This is just <laughs> So the famous Greek dance. We will see if the players will dance over the pitch in the next 20 minutes. In the last minutes of the first half, we have the impression that Avoy becoming strong and what a better team. Um, and it looks like in the first situation now where it's going to be placed Siotas, <laughs> that maybe Dimos Zacharos going forward a bit. We've just got a little clap going on around the stadium, just trying to encourage these Pisos Tessaloniki players to get going in the second half as the pace of the music turns up, but it's now gone off and we can get back to the main action on the pitch. So we do have now a full complement of players. And we'll have our first look at Babis Tokalatidis. Tokalatidis on the pitch now as Avoy Burner get us underway onto this near side. Kevin Seal trying to break forward, going into a central position, but just losing the ball momentarily. Tokalatidis just on the floor as he rolls over, but the ball's now over onto that far side, into the Avoy Burner half. Avoy Burner playing from right to left as the ball runs loose into the centre circle. Jan Bango picks it up, tries to come forward and tries to go through the middle of the field. Now into a right of centre position. Three Thessaloniki players surrounding him and Jan Bango still somehow has the ball as he's shrugging off Tokolidis and he tries to swivel and play the ball over to this near side. Zakaros in a deeper position as he was playing compared to yesterday. Picks it up on this near side under no pressure at all and tries to switch the play over to that far side. Picked up nicely with a brilliant touch from Siotis, and he comes now into the center over the halfway, tries to go through the middle of the Avoy Bona half, but that strength of Jan Bango once again on the broken line, but he can't get it away as Kokoulis tries to out-muscle Bango, but there's only gonna be one winner there. And into the Avoy Bono half, Bolasek with his red boots on. Kevin Seal really frustrated, just kicking the board over on this near side. And the ball just running loose on this near side, just slowly the ball just running down the touchline. Kellen Seal picking up the ball on this near side in front of us in the commentary box. Kellen Seal back to goal on the halfway line, turns with his right foot nicely into a left of centre position, trying to get into the left hand side of the bench. And a shot, and it's just left of that post. And it must have taken just a slight deflection. Kellen Seal accelerating from the halfway line through the left and centre of the field into the penalty area, and a shot of his left with his left foot just fizzes past the left-hand post of the Tessalinki goalkeeper. And it will be a corner over on that far side, Jan Bango, to take. So the first corner of this second half, two minutes gone, 22 minutes on the clock. So a corner over on that far side, Jan Bango and Kellen Seal over it. Kenny Seal turning, trying to get to a central position, shoots, and it's a good save. Down to the right of the Georgios Ampatis, the Tessaliki goalkeeper, who dives to his right and he gets things underway quickly. Over on this near side now, on the halfway line with Siotas. Lots of space and time. Punts it forward to the, the toes of his feet, over to that far side. Gokoulis under pressure. From Polisek. Polisek just slightly has a... Both hands on the back of Gakoulis, but the ball runs over to this near side now of Siotas. Under pressure from Kenin Seal. Siotas. Jan Bango. Siotas tries to come forward with it. Turns onto his right foot. Turns onto his left. Outside the edge of the area. Still has possession of the ball. Ball just running loose. Still in the penalty area. 
And could he have been fouled? Potentially, Jan Bango just leaning in and bundling over Siertas. But a boy Bono come away with the ball over on this near side. Kellen Seal on the halfway line, on this near side. Heads towards the broken line, but turns towards the... And fires the ball over to that far side now. Jan Bango picks it up and tries to switch the ball once again. And Kellen Seal trying to get into the left-hand side of the penalty area. And it will be a goal clearance for Tessa Linky. And ball rolled over. One bounce and into the Avoy Berno half. And rolls all the way into the goal zone for the Avoy Berno keeper. And ball rolled over to this near side now. And rolls all the way out for a goal clearance this time for Tessa Linky. So 23 minutes, 44 seconds on the clock. Still nil-nil. Ball thrown over. Left of centre now. Tried to pick up on that far side. And the goal runs all the way to the goal zone. It's just going from goalkeeper to goalkeeper now at the moment. And fired over now to this near side. Tries to find Kenneth Seal, but picked up really nicely. And now a chance for Kukulis to run forward right inside the penalty area. Shoots and he misses the ball. And with the goalkeeper for Bernal. Bukowski throws centrally this time. Kersil can't pick up the ball and rolls all the way up to the goal line. And we're picked up by Tessa Linky, goalkeeper. Thrown over to that far side now. Nice turn. And the ball runs loose into the right hand center of the edge of the D. And with the goalkeeper for Bernard, Thomas Bukowski. No clear-cut chances so far in the second half. Just going from goalkeeper to goalkeeper at the moment. Now into the Tessalinki half, although ricochets back into the avoid burner half on the broken line in the centre of the avoid burner half. Ball played forward and through the legs of Gakoulis. Now Kellen Seal on this near side, a couple of metres from this near side corner. Still in possession, tries to get into the penalty area and it rolls all the way into the goal zone. And Kellen Seal tries to swipe along the floor to try and get the ball but it doesn't reach it, and it's a throw over to this far side now as it just ricochets off Jan Bango. He picks it up on the halfway line, holds both hands onto the kickboard, and now picked up by Kukulis, right of centre, crosses over the halfway line, crosses over the broken line, right of centre, tries to get into the penalty area, but shoots on the edge of the penalty area, and it's a goal clearance, and it rolls out quickly over to this near side to Kenin Seal. Kenan Seal on the halfway, turns nicely, turns into a more central position, now cuts into a left of centre, tries to get into penalty, and shoots and it's a great save, although was the goalkeeper outside of his goal zone, it was a good save, and the ball's still in that goal zone, trying to locate the ball, Zakharos finds it and clears it away. Siotas over on that far side, under pressure now from Jan Bango, midway point between the broken line and the halfway. Ball over to that far side now, deep into the Tessalinki half and it rolls all the way over the goal line but it was a good save from the Tessalinki goalkeeper but was he outside his goal though? In the moment I seen it in the moment he touched the ball he was on the line so it's still okay then he left the box but there was no contact with the ball anymore so in the blind football rules if the contact the safe is in the box and then your body goes out it's fine and so I'm with the ref Christian Jung is there to discussing with Yeritia Hatschlikov the guy behind of Ampatsis because she reclaimed immediately outside, outside, outside. But in my opinion, if you want to rewatch it on YouTube, you can do it. In my opinion, the contact with the left hand of Ampatsis, who dived down very, very well against the shot, was on the line, was inside, and then he went out. And but Christian Jung is doing like a video refereeing now or photo refereeing now, having the photo there from Sisa who take this action, just checking if he was off his line. Anyway. The action was whistled or not whistled like this, but maybe if he was outside, the German referee is influenced for the last 13 minutes in a different way. Well, let's see what the game brings us. Goal clearance by Ampatsis looking for the left wing to Faimoglu against Polashek. Faimoglu wins the infight but kicks the wall way wide forward. He goes behind him and then in the infight with Petrash close to the D line edge. He was the last one to touch it, touch it so it's goal clearance for. Uh, Bukowski, but these goal clearance often will be very well intercepted by Guakulis. Same in this time, and then he came over the right wing. Guakulis against Bango on the broken line. He decided to switch the game with a nice play to Faimoglu. Faimoglu now is 
open center there on a broken line, but he missed the moment to cut into the D, then miscontrolled the ball. Now it's on the midline, Seal against Faimoglu. Seal wanted the foul, but didn't get it. Then there was Faimoglu on the ground. Oh, and then Seal was a long step in, influenced by the two situation before. Yellow card for Karen Seal, who risked too much and put in, and Faimoglu with a bloody lip, with a painful right foot. Yellow card shown by Stuart Winton. Intense scene there. Faimoglu fell down on the ground. Then uh, Seal wanted to go through, and of course Faimoglu was there, and he was jumping over him, and then reclaimed, no boy, no boy, but there was a boy, and then influenced of this negative um, situation, Seal dropped out a bit of his head, and put in with a hard right foot just to kick the ball away, just to hurt somebody, and yeah, this is not acceptable, and Stuart Winton immediately whistled and shown the yellow card. 11 minutes, 20 seconds still to play in this second half of game two, and we need a goal, otherwise, oh, we have the opportunity in third match that St. Pauli with a win could win the title in BBFC 2019. Free kick was taken by Mogul dribbles like 10 meters, then taking a shot with the right foot, but from 40 meters distance, no danger, it's going wide. Clearance Bukowski. And back underway then into the Tessalinki half. The ball rolls all the way over the goal line and it will be a goal clearance for Tessalinki. So rolled underarm, couple of bounces into the Avoy Berno half. Tried to pick up by Gakoulis. Yambango under pressure on the broken line. Edge of the Avoy Berno penalty area. Can he get it under control, Gakoulis? And it's cleared away. Famoglu can pick it up on the broken line. Still in the Avoy Berno half on that far side. Tries to get down the touchline, back to goal. And switches the play over to this near side now in front of the TV cameras. And now Gakoulis shoots and it's from a very tight angle. It would have to have been something very special to beat him from there on the right-hand centre. And it goes wide. It'll be a goal clearance for Avoid Berno. Now onto that far side. It reaches Kevin Seal. Kevin Seal tries to get into a more central position onto his left foot. And it's a good back heel away over to that far side, though. Still in the Tessalinki half, deep. And Zakharos picks it up now and tries to run with the ball. And Yambango is there, who just stops him in his path. The big brick wall of Yambango stopping him, and the ball runs over the halfway line, back into the Tessalinki half, picked up by Zakharos, who comes into a more advanced position, and into the central role, now left of centre, and he's met by Polasek. Zakharos tries to enter into the penalty area, ball runs loose, still under pressure. Ball still in the penalty area, but it's cleared away over the broken line. Over on that far side, who's going to meet it first, Polasek or Fomoglu? Fomoglu now. Facing his own goal, clears it upfield of a sweeping ball, curling effort over to this far side. Yanban goes there just to meet it, but the ball rolls over the goal line, and it will be a goal clearance for Avoya Berno. Thomas Burkowski throws it through the centre of the field, onto the broken line, well intercepted by Fomoglu, runs through the middle of the pitch, over the halfway line, over the broken line, into a more right of centre position now, towards his near side, tries to have a shot but misses it, and it would have been a a very, it was an audacious effort from that right of centre. He misses the shots and it goes over the goal line and we'll have a timeout for a Voy Burnow. And 31 minutes on the clock, nine minutes to go. And at the moment we remain goalless and you're quite right that we could be potentially seeing in the next game, St. Pauli winning the trophy with three games remaining. So he would like a goal for either side. Tessa Linke, came close in the first half with coming off the post and chances for Kevin Seal who just that turn of acceleration when he don't think he's going to do it and suddenly sweeping the ball with his right foot and driving down the left to centre of the field and it was a good opportunity but we remain goalless. Yeah, in the first minutes of the second half, a voice started good with this nice shot from Kevin Seal but in the last two or three minutes I had the impression both teams are missing the connection to the games. Uh, the goal clearances um, from Bukowski not often find his teammate Seal. Seal already reacted. Now he switched from the right side where Guaculi's almost intercepted every to the left side. Um, or from their perspective, the right attacking side. Um, to, to avoid uh, the interceptions by Guaculi's uh, to reach and getting more um, clearances controlled by um, Bukowski's throwing in. And uh, on the other hand, um, the three players who are defending makes it dif difficult for Siotas or Guacoulis when they win the ball to create really danger. And so in the last three, four mi minutes, the game the just goes through without any danger. Uh, um, very uh, curious with Milan Duda and Ampatis, both coaches of both teams. 
uh, giving their teams with them for the last nine minutes because if uh, anybody could score here they are big in business and if um, Thessaloniki wins this match they have it in their own hand beating Lang Pauli no matter how Lang Pauli plays the next match if they win this match they can beat Lang Pauli and they are up there have been a substitution Jan Mrazek is being back on the pitch Wojtek Polasek is going off so theoretically it's a more offensive switch and in this moment it looks like they playing as a 2-2 two -two or even a 1-3 only Petras is last man standing there, inches before the um, D. Bukowski with the hand in his ball, uh, ball in his hands. Ke uh, Seal waiting on the left hand kickboard and Bango right sided and Rajik left sided already close to the attacking third. Karen Seal was a short throw and get it over the own broken line, getting attacked by Guakulis, asking for his teammates, looking for a pass for Mrazek. Mrazek didn't get it, it passed very well, decent pass from Seal, it passed Ciotas and it passed Zacharos, but unfortunately, from perspective from Bruno, also passed it Captain Mrazek. Thrown in by Ampatis, Ampatis in the center circle, looking for uh, Ciotas, conclusion and confusion there. Mrazek is helping in the defense, attacking by his own man, Lucky man could be Guakulis there in the scene in the D, but Seal clears it over the kickboard. It's a corner for Saloniki from the right wing. Eight minutes to play. Corner from the right side. Near kickboard from our perspective. Close to the TV camera. Stuart Winton already there, rattling with the ball, waiting that Faimoglu coming to Guakulis, who's already waiting there in the corner. And I think also Ampatis, the Greek coach, is preparing a substitution here. Stratos is making ready here, close to his stage. But first, we have a look to this corner kick. Free taken. It's Faimoglu dribbling around, opening, close to the 8 meter spots now, trying to come in. And he hit the shot. No! What a goal! What a goal! It was a right footy sheet from 7 meters. It was no big danger. But Bukowski let the ball passing through his leg, unluckily by the Czech goalkeeper in this scene. He spread it away, his right leg, and just through the legs, he passed the ball. Oh, 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 oh. We are talking about the mistake by keeper there, unluckily, Brad. Yeah, certainly. It was that arcing run that we've always seen from those corners of Fomoglu who just came from this near side. And that banana, we always talk about that arcing run towards the left-hand side of the edge of the penalty. A shot, a snapshot of his left foot and through the uh, the body of Bukowski. And we're underway. Jan Banger going through the centre of the pitch. Jan Banger going all alone, trying to take on four Tessalinki players. Jan Banger still battling away. And Fomoglu now, can he break? Oh, he just loses the ball and tries to come forward. Jan Rezic battling away, and it will be a free kick to avoid Berno as Fermoglu was just swiping with his right foot and nearly catching Jan Rezic, and it was Jan Rezic nearly went down over himself, but it will have a free kick for Evoi Berno. Midway between the halfway line and the broken line, just right of centre. So a free kick here for Evoi Berno, and with six and a half minutes to go, Tessalinki currently lead and it will be Kakoulis who's putting a really good shift in for Tessalinki this morning and it will be a substitution and just wait to see who come on it looks like it's going to be Stratos who will be coming on for Tessalinki and it is Stratos who comes on and immediately in the thick of the action four Tessalinki players behind their own broken line almost in a, in a line in front of each other although just trying to form a, a diamond formation oh no and they're going into a into a line, as Glenn Hoddle would say, the love train. And here comes Avoy Berno. Over on that far side, Kerinsil cuts in, right of centre, right foot, left foot, shoots! And a good save from the Tessalinki goalkeeper, just diving to his right. Not a lot of power on the shot, but it was a save nonetheless. And now, Stratos trying to get his first mark on the A. Drops over the broken line and Fomoglu switched over a bit of space but just can't locate the ball as the ball rolls past him over on that far side. Petras trying to defend, facing his own goal. Fomoglu trying to hook the ball away from him as the ball rolls over the broken line towards the halfway. Fomoglu picks it up. Midway point between the halfway and the broken line and tries to switch the ball over to Stratos on this near side, who runs onto the ball. 
onto the right-hand side of the penalty area and just a half shot and it's over the goal line and a clearance from the goalkeeper already over to this near side, Jan Rezic now from this near side in front of us in the commentary position tries to get into a more central position over the broken line a good tackle from Siotos and Stratos clears it away ball is loose Jan Bango is there first over the halfway line looks to go towards goal over the broken line tries to break through Fomoglu, but Fomoglu picks it up once again. Stratos in there once again, using his body to try and shrug off Fomoglu. Fomoglu still going on the left-hand side. Oh, just can't locate the ball to have the shot on goal as it runs across the goal line. And it will be with Thomas Bukowski, the avoid Bono keeper. One bounce over the halfway line and picked up by Jan Rezic, but just can't locate the ball and it's cleared away. And out over the fence and we will have a kick in on this near side for avoid Bono. Nearly hitting the TV just to the right of us. So a kick in for Evoy Berno. So just over four minutes left to play. Currently 1 0 to Tessa Uninki. And here comes Kellen Seal. Looks at that burst of place, looking to get to the left hand side of the penalty area. Takes a shot, and it's deflected. And it will be a corner over on this near side for Evoy Berno. Jan Rezic coming to take it. Kellen Seal also making his way over. Two Tessa Uninki players blocking that near post. Jan Bango in the middle of the penalty area, tries to chip it forward onto the head of Siotas who comes forward. Now Siotas, can he get onto the end of the ball? This could be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, picks it up, gets into the penalty area, shoots and it's a good save for Thomas Burakovsky but it's not cleared away from the edge of the penalty area. Siotas still has the ball, right of centre, closer to this near side kickboard. Trying to get into the right-hand side of the penalty area, has a shot and it's deflected and will be a corner. Siotas did well to try and get the ball away with his right foot and swept it onto his left and it was a snapshot and well saved by Thomas Bukowski and it remains 1-0 to Tessa Linke with 3 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Bukowski is pissed after this decision of the corner, he kicked the ball against the kickboard, still maybe also angry about himself knowing he w didn't did the best job with this goal and they need to take risk now to uh, almost Three minutes 15 on, or exactly three minutes 15 on the clock. Um, so they need to take a risk. If the results will be like this, Thessaloniki is fighting for the title in the last match against Dang Pauli, no matter how they play, a victory against Dang Pauli. Um, and they are the champion, and Dang Pauli got a bit more pressure now uh, against Anderlecht, but this will be the story of the next game. We're looking on the story of this game, and I'm very curious what Milan do there. This morning told me our aim is spot place two or three. We'll say to his squad now because spot two is almost the gun if they lose here. Spot three, they are depending on other results and having the fight in the end then by their own against Vienna, we will see. Referees whistle, so timeout is over. Players going back on the pitch. Encourage hand by the spectators. Lovely here in the Sunday sun. A couple of people here from Buciwice town coming here to cheer for their team or the Brno team in this seventh edition. Crowd every year growing up. Stand the covered and sheltered stand there with two tents, white big tents are mostly filled. Half of local people, half of players, and this corner is kicking and mentioned the last corner, bring the goal. Again, it's Faimoglu, but this time he losing the contact to the ball. The ball position is switched to Seal. Seal tries to play the ball out, but it didn't reach Bango, who was waiting far away. Instead, it's um, Stratos over the left wing, already crossing broken line, trying to shoot, hidden shot, but blocked by Petras. Ball is still there in the attacking third. Stratos against Bango to conquer the ball, but Bango step was the right foot over, then is attacked by his own teammate Seal. Bad communication, but Bango was hit on the right foot, but didn't care. Game goes on. Stratos there in a heavy infight, pulled a bit down by Bango. Close to a foul, but I'm the ref with the referees going on this game here. Faimoglu over the right wing, already close to the D. Try to switch him, but nobody there. The ball rebounds it, ricocheted by Petras. It's then Petras who cleared the situation out of the ball. Slowly runs into the center circle. 
where it's been picked up by Stratos. Stratos giving it to Faimoglu, but it's bad communication, giving a chance for Bango to picking up the ball. Bango came over the center, but nice defending by Faimoglu, picking up the ball himself, going over the left wing, and then referee timeouts because the eye shades of Faimoglu were completely gone, and so he have to re-put the Google on. Christian Jung immediately uh, stopped the game, rechecked the Googles by Faimoglu. The, the, the Googles were over, over his um, eyes, and you can see the white eye patches, and then in this case, the game gonna be stopped. Two minutes, six seconds on the clock. So the final closing moments of our second game of this Sunday here at the Bushevitsa Blind Football Cup. And looks like we're gonna have a, are we gonna have a drop kick? Or we're just waiting. I know it's Karen Seal who's going to pick it up and kicks it back. And the ball is loose over on this near side. Kakulis backing, battling away with Yambango, who's covered so much ground over the course of this game on this near side. Strong, committed play on this near side, almost wrestling with each other on this near side. Only a couple of metres away from this near side corner flag. Yambango on the floor. And... Referee Shu Winson gives the free kick in favour of Tessan Aniki. He was playing a ball lying on the ground, mm. so game is stopped because the bell ball, ball was blocked. And time is clicking, ticking. Clock is running out for Bruno. So free kick deep into their own half on just ho almost holding this near side kickboard. Zakaros tries to play the ball at field. Kevin Seal just misses it. That could have been a good opportunity as the ball rolls all the way into the broken area. Stratos tries to pick up the loose ball. And it's cleared away by Polishek over to this near side. Jan Bango, can he pick up the loose ball? Rolling down this near side kickboard. And yet again, Jan Bango in a fight to try and get the possession of this ball. Yambango still wrestling away with Siotas. Only a metre away from this near side corner flag. And again, well, this time we'll have a drop ball. Siotas and Karen Seal. And Karen Seal first onto this. Back to goal. Looking to try and work his way through. Holding on to the kickboard. Under 30 seconds left of the game as the ball rolls down this near side kickboard into the avoid burner half over the goal line. It will be a goal clearance. And we will have a substitution for Tessalinki Stratos, number 23, going to be replaced by Babis Tokaladidis, the number four. So 14 seconds remaining of this second game, and currently. Tessa and Linky leading by a goal to nil. And it's a long ball through the centre of the field. Ball rules. And it will be with a goal clearance for Tessa and Linky. Is the, we have five seconds remaining. Ball rolled over to that far side. Clock strikes the 40 minute mark. And that is full time. And it finishes. Avoid Berno nil versus Tessaloniki one. A victory for Tessaloniki that could set up a real grudge match in our penultimate game later on between Tessaloniki and St. Pauli. Jan Bango's on the floor. He's put every inch of effort into getting a result in this game. But it finishes. Tessaloniki one. Avoid Berno nil. That goal by Fimoglu. As it just rolled under Thomas Bukowski. And it will finish 1-0 in our second game of the day. So our next game here on this Sunday, it will be St. Pauli against Brussels, five-a-side Anderlecht. That will be coming up in a couple of minutes' time. Don't go anywhere with St. Pauli against five-a-side Anderlecht. Coming up next.